Hi everyone, my name is Diego Damona. Thank you for stopping by my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and to install Visual Studio 2020, the community edition, the free version for which you don't need to pay anything. By the way, if you'd like this video, I please ask you to subscribe by hitting on the subscribe button. That is the only way you can encourage me to do more in this. So without further ado, I'd like to take you through all the process that it takes for you to be able to download and then install Visual Studio 2017. So the first thing to do, you just need to launch your browser. It might be Google Chrome or Windows Explorer, it doesn't matter. So let me uh, just write to the Visual Studio 2017 and then you click. So it's going to give you all these things here, but you don't need all these things. The, um, the official website for Microsoft is this one. So just going to click on this link below and then you wait for a second. And it's going to give you all these things. You don't need to install uh, to download Visual Studio 2022 or 2019 because that's what you, that is not what you, you need. You are actually looking for the 2017 version. So you can just expand here and then you click on download. It's going to open up another window. Just wait a little bit while it is uh, busy downloading. All right, let me just close this thing here. All right, so it's going to give you all these things, but you don't need all this. The only thing you need here is Visual Studio Community 2017 version because this is the free version. This other version, for instance, this one, uh, Visual Studio Enterprise 2017, is a trial one. So I don't think you need to download things like this because uh, it's going to expire after a few time, after a few months, I wanted to say. So if you need something very free, uh, for all the time that you're going to, to take to be developing your um, your apps and uh, your software, I'd suggest you to download this this right here, Visual Studio Community 2017 version. So you're going to click on download. It's going to open another window. So by clicking on download, you're going to download this file here, this package here. So. Let me try to open on my computer uh, this PC and then go to download. So this is what we just downloaded with you now. It's Visual Studio Community. So this package here, this file is here. This is the one that is going to help us to download Visual Studio Community and then later on install it. Okay. So I'm just gonna double click on it. You can just click on yes, then wait. Okay, so we're going, it's going to uh, give you this little window. So here it's telling you before you get started, we need to set up few things so that you can configure your installation. So you have nothing to worry about this little window. Just click on continue and then you wait until it's going to pop up another window which will give you the possibility of start downloading and then installing so just uh, wait a little while all right so it's going to give you this window in this window here you can see there are few there, there, there's a lot of stuff all the features that uh, that come with uh, visual studio community 2017 but you don't need all this stuff here. You don't need all these guys here. So the only thing you are looking at here is a uh, .NET desktop development. You're just going to check this checkbox. And because with this, you will be able to be using C Sharp as a programming language because with a further video, I'm going to uh, release video that uh, speak about how to create and develop uh, the app or the software that run using C Sharp as programming language. So you can use C Sharp or Visual Basic and this one. You can e even uh, use a WPF, Windows Form and console application. So this other stuff, we don't need it for now. Just going to tick .NET desktop development. So just make sure that you 
checked you tick all these checkboxes because you might need them in future when you'll start developing some uh, some software all right so i just want uh, i just wanted to tell you something guys that uh, the information that you see where it says total space required 10 gig it does not actually mean that you need 10 gigabyte as data to be able to download this software no it only says it only means that in your computer you must have this space it has to be 10 gig or more so let me show you just going to click on this pc so they are really talking about this space here local disk ac this is where you're going to be installing and um um saving all your, the data all the packages that come with uh, visual studio 2017 so they are referring actually to this space here to this disk ac here it has to be 10 gig or more it's not about the number or the amount of uh, data that you must have for you, you to be able to download so now i think that uh, everything is up to date now we can just click on install and see what's going to happen so for this window uh soon it's going to start downloading and then it will start installing later after the download is done all right, so if it asks you this question, don't worry about everything that is here because you know you don't need to remove all these things. You don't want to click on retry or cancel. Just go click on continue and see what's gonna happen. Okay, okay? now the download has started. Just I want just want to tell you something here, guys. You see, here it says 1.9. So this is the amount of data you must have for you to be able to download the visual studio community 2017 it's something like two gig which is required of you for you to be able to download and then later on to install this version so because it takes time it might take 15 to 20 minutes or 30 sometimes one hour it depends on how fast and how slow is your computer so it might take a, lot, a, a bit of time in that it don't take but for now I don't want to make this video long by waiting until this installation is done. As for now, I'm just going to pause the video. I'm just going to pause this recording so that we can come back while the when the installation will be about to be finished. So now the installation is about to finish. Alright, you can see that uh, the installation is done. Now oh, it is launched automatically Visual Studio 2017. Just wait a little bit. Just going to uh, minimize this window here. Alright, so after the installation is done, is going to ask you to sign up so you can be able to use it so what you can do you can just click on sign in then wait for a few moments it says we are getting things ready so thanks for your patience just gonna put my address here so my email address so there you go all right. Put the next. So by the way, uh, mine is gonna work because I have uh, already a Google account. So if you don't have, instead of signing, you're gonna you're going to go to create a a new credential, a new username. So and then the the visa installation will take you through all the process it's just going to follow whatever they tell you to do if they ask you to put your email address you put your email address and the password and all the details as it works but as for now it was very simple because i got already a google account so for now i'm going to put my secret password sign in one more time wait a little bit 
We are preparing for the first use. This might take a few minutes. Again, you wait. There we go, the program is launched. We've seen how you can download and install Visual Studio 2017. So guys, thanks for your patience. I really thank that. And then uh, if you like the video, as I said in my introduction of my video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can be officially part of this uh, Diego Damune TV YouTube channel because next time when I will drop a video you will definitely are going to be alerted and then you might be in need of the video that I'm going to be releasing or maybe of the topic that I'm going to be talking about.